Hey, so why should you simplify your business? Why am I so bullish about simplifying? What are the benefits of simplifying? Why did I name our company The Simple Company? Well, it's because I not only lived through the problems of complexity, I was a strategist for 15 plus years working with billion dollar companies, many of them also hundreds of hundreds, if not a thousand entrepreneurs by now, and I see this problem everywhere. You know, if you're not simple, if you're not clear, if you're not focused, you're not going to survive. I mean, I hate to say it to you, unless you are simple, you're not going to make it. That's my belief. That's my truth. And so let's explore what the benefits of simplifying really are. People think that it's all about um, making it dumb down, but that's not the truth. Actually, the truth is it's more like uh, maybe what Leonardo da Vinci said or somebody else, uh, you know, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. When you're able to simplify, you can create something more refined, something more sophisticated. Now let's take the obvious example, Apple. What happens when you simplify like Apple? Well, first of all, they became the most valuable company in the world. But apart from that, what are they really doing? They chose to focus on fewer customers, fewer problems that they solve through fewer uh, products. When you have fewer focus areas, you're going to be able to do something better. You can create something more beautiful, something easier to use. And hence, they gave us these beautiful products that the world loves. You know, whether you love or hate it, you can't disagree with the fact that they've simplified at what I call the front stage of their business. The front stage meaning everything that the customer can touch and feel, all the different touch points. Everything they put out there is designed for simplicity. It's their secret sauce. Now, but it doesn't stop there because what, what, when you simplify, you're going to get more people to choose you. You're going to be able to charge more if you do it well. And you get more people to come back and buy more often, which are the only three ways you can grow a business, by the way. At the backstage of your business, um, you have your processes and your operations. When you design your business, your operations for simplicity, what you're doing, you're applying, again, this mentality of how can we achieve more with less, which is leverage. When you do that, you might conclude that because we have fewer offerings, we have clearer offerings, we can have fewer suppliers, we can have fewer and better processes. We have clearly designed for simplicity knowing that how we eliminate everything that doesn't need to be in the way we operate and focus only on the vital few things that deliver more, uh, you know, more return for everything we do. Great companies in the world, they simplify, giving them a double effect. So again, on the front side, they get chosen by more customers at higher prices more frequently. At the backstage, they are able to be more efficient, which, you know, is code for profitability. So you get, you know, more sales at a higher profit. Now, how would you like that? So simplicity, in essence, gives you leverage. It gives you leverage. Leverage meaning the difference between the inputs and the outputs has a bigger, a bigger multiple. And a multiple meaning. So let's, uh, let's take an example of a, of a zero leverage business. You're selling time. You're selling an hour. You're charging 100 bucks for an hour. Like for every uh, hour that you work, you get $100. But when you stop working, uh, there's no money coming in. There's zero leverage. You know, one equals one. One input, one output. When you leverage, you know, you bring in a multiple in between. So maybe you do one hour work, but you charge for 10 hours of work because you've automated, you've standardized, you've productized, you've figured out a way to have leverage in your business. And by simplifying, that's exactly what you're doing. You're figuring out what of all the different things that you could be doing, that are not giving you the highest possible return. You're optimizing. You want to optimize for the few things that are really essential and do more of that. And that's really the idea around rebuilding the simple company into a global consultancy. We are taking a look at businesses from the perspective of what are they doing right now? Where do they want to be? What's holding the back? And then we're analyzing, we're assessing, we're taking a look at where is the biggest potential and then we're helping you, if you were a client, would help you eliminate all the waste. Because let's face it, there's a lot of waste in almost every business, in every business, really. There's usually a, 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 you know, somewhere between 30 to 100% of revenue, of growth, of sales lying all around you if you started to optimize for simplicity. But anyways, I'm not going to go in too much into detail. If you're interested to learn more, go to thesimplecompany.com, go to forward slash meeting, set up a call with us. We can explain more. That's what we do at The Simple Company. But more importantly, 
simplify your business so that you can grow, so that you can have more of what you really want, which is more time, which is more impact, which is more money, if, I'm, if I know you at all. Anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. I'll be back with more value-loaded videos on this channel.